Welcome to Tor's Tool Tips, brought to you by Homespun Quilts and Yarn in Astoria, Oregon. Tonight we're going to look at needles. The needle is the heart of your sewing machine. It, uh, my camera doesn't have a microscope mode, so we're going to bring out the larger version. We blew this one up to make it visible on your screen. The top part of the needle is called the shank. All modern machines use a flat shank on their needle to hold it in the right position for the sewing action to occur. The front of the blade of the, of the needle has a long groove in it. That's where the thread hides as, it, as the needle penetrates the uh, many layers of the work you're working on. Uh, the larger the needle, the larger this groove is, and the thicker the thread is designed for. The eye of the needle can be small or it can be larger depending on what it's made for. In any case, it has to be a really smooth eye because the thread has to be going through this eye of the needle about 25 times over and over again as it uh, makes the stitches and before it gets left behind in the, in the work. On the back of the needle is, a, is the scarf. This section is, allows the hook of the, of the machine to pass right behind the needle to pick up the loop of thread that's formed every time you take a stitch. The point of the needle can be long and tapered or it can come to a point more abruptly depending on the kind of fabric. And then the actual tip can be quite sharp or it can be formed into a ball. Again, it depends on what the fabric needs. All needles are the same length from the top to the eye and they need to be inserted in the machine up in the needle clamp all the way to the stop for the machine to work without horrible noises coming from below the stitch plate. Well, that's all from today's tool tip. We'll be back later with more tips. And please be careful out there and be at peace. Goodbye.